Welcome to linuxhelp.com. Today we will see about VPC configuration with public and private subnet on AWS. The VPC defines virtual private cloud. It means it means in AWS environment, if you want to manage your network infrastructure in a secure way is called VPC. In this tutorial, we will cover VPC configuration with public and private subnet on AWS. Before we go to VPC configuration, first we have to know basics of VPC. First, we have to know Internet Gateway. It means allow communication between two instances or communication between VPC to Internet is known as IGW or Internet Gateway. We have to know subnet. It is used to divide a single network to multiple network using the different IP address is called subnetting. Route table is defined. In VPC infrastructure, we can define how to traffic will follow in terms of using routing policy is called route table. NAT gateway is providing a internet to your private instance is called NAT gateway. Now we will configure the VPC. For that open AWS console and log in your account. This is the console of AWS. I have to create a VPC. For that click services and search VPC. Open the VPC window. Here click your VPCs. Here I will create new VPC. For that click create VPC. Enter the VPC name. Enter the IP range of the VPC. Create VPC. The VPC is created. Then I have to create a subnets for public one, public two, private one, private two. For that, click subnets and here create new subnet. Here select the VPC. This is used to do the subnet is working under this VPC and enter the subnet name and enter the availability zone. I am select AP South only. Enter the IP range. Click create subnet. The same way I am follow to create another subnet. Select VPC. Enter the subnet name. Select availability zone on public to subnet. I am selecting the availability zone AP South 1B. Here IP ranges. Create subnet. The subnet is created. Now I am creating private subnets. Enter the subnet name. Here I am select the availability zone is south only. IP ranges. Create subnet. Same way I am following to create another subnet. Select the PC. Enter the subnet name. Select the availability zone. Enter the IP range. Create subnet. Here you can see private one, private two. Public one, public two subnet is created. Now I have to create a route tables for private to private and public to public. Create a route table. Enter the name of route table. First, I have to create a public route table. Select the VPC. Create route table. The route table is created. Same way I am following to create private route table.
select VPC and create the route table is created next I will create internet gateways click internet gateways and click create internet gateway to create a gateway enter the gateway name create internet gateway the internet gateway is created but it was in detached now we have to attach the gateway to the VPC for that first select that gateway and click action to attach VPC and here select the VPC my VPC is test VPC and select it and attach internet gateway now the gateway is attached to the VPC now the internet gateway is attached to our VPC now I will create instance inside the public subnet and I will access it for that I have to create an instance first go to services click EC2 here launch instance select any AMI here I am select Amazon Linux select T2 micro tire in this configuration instance I have to select my network settings in network I have select my VPC on subnet this is the public one so I am select the public one subnet and I have enable the auto assign a public IP it will assign the IP automatically and click next to add storage and leave it the default settings and add the name of the instance enter the instance name this is public instance so I put public instance configure security group here enter the security group name and um, enter the security group name is test here I am allow the all traffics and the source is to anywhere and review and launch click launch here I am create a new key pair for public download key pair key pair is downloaded now launch instance the instance is successfully launched now view instance here the instance status is pending the instance is launched now instance status is running and it passed the two crash to status check now I will define the routing policy for that go to VPC go to route tables this instance is for public so select public route table and click routes edit routes here add new policy here I give the all traffics here I am give the target is internet gateway here I am select internet gateway here it shows IGW test gateway I am select it and save it the gateway policy is added now associate the subnets edit subnet associations this is for public so I have to associate public one and public two subnets I have to click this and save the subnets are associated why we are defined this policy is 
the internet gateway is allowed to the VPC we have give the internet gateway to our subnet to get the internet access via the VPC why we are associate the subnet means the internet gateway is only provide the internet access to the following subnets only now I will access the instance via the git bash for that first open the download location of the keeper right click and open git bash and here I will take control of the instance by default every instance provide the username is ec2 user enter the public IP of the public instance for that copy from the instance press S2 do the further steps here I can take a control of public instance now check now I will check the public instance the internet is come or not here the internet is available I am exit from the instance now we will see how to create private and NAT instance and how to access private instance through NAT instance for that get back to the AWS console and create instance for NAT instance you have to select the image from the community AMS I am select Amazon AMI I am select free tire eligible here I am choose the network test VPC here I am select the subnet is public to public to is react a NAT instance NAT storage add tax enter the name of the instance this was NAT instance config security group I am select the existing security group review and launch the instance launch instance here I am select the existing key pair the instance is launching here the NAT instance is pending now I will create a private instance I am select the Amazon Linux to AMI I am select free tire eligible here I am select the network is test VPC and the subnet is private one and here I am disable the auto SN IP and add storage enter the instance name config security group I am select the existing security group launch instance I am select the existing keeper now view instance here you can see private instance and NAT instance is running now I will define the routing policy for private for that go to route table and click private and click routes and edit routes here add route here I am giving all traffics here I am enter the NAT instance address for that go to instance pick NAT instance copy the instance ID 
and paste here save routes now associate the subnets now I am associate the private subnets for the private instance save submit is associated now I will access the NAT instance using SSH for that open git bash take SSH of the NAT instance here enter the public IP address of the NAT instance copy the instance public IP address and paste here here I can access from the NAT instance I will check the internet internet is available for NAT instance here you can see the private key now we'll take a access of private instance using NAT instance for that open AWS console and click private instance and there you can see connect click that click SSH client there they given the how to connect the instance to the NAT instance I am following this way to connect the instance to NAT first I have to give the permission of the private key copy that command and open git bash first I have to switch the root paste the command take SSH of the private instance through the NAT instance for that copy this command paste press enter press S2 do for further steps now I am successfully take access of the private instance using the NAT instance now I will check the network connection of the private instance Here the network is not coming if we want to get the internet access we have to do one step on the AWS console go to EC2 instance click the NAT instance click the actions and there you can see the network tab click the tab and there you can see change source destination check click it and click stop and click save and check the SSH now the private instance is getting a internet access if you want to deny the internet access go to the AWS console and click action and click networking and click change source to destination check and uncheck the stop and click save and check the SSH try to ping the network access is denied this is the method VPC configuration with public and private subnet on AWS if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and also to watch more tutorial please visit our website www.linuxhelp.com and if you have any queries mail us to support at linuxhelp.com thank you